Police arrest three juveniles in connection with a break-in at a local towing company. The teens causing quite a bit of damage to the property. Now we've learned this is not the first time that Sandy's Towing has had to deal with things like this. Two News reporter Dana Smith live with a closer look at exactly what happened. According to police, the suspects were seen stealing the car, but when confronted by employees, they took off through the front gate. The front gate of Sandy's Towing on Broadway Street still showing signs of damage. Police say when they arrived on scene around 2 a.m. on Sunday, the gate was lying on the ground after the culprits smashed through it. According to police, an employee saw a white GMC Yukon driving in the parking lot and called police, telling officers someone had broken in and was stealing a car. Another employee tried to block the front entrance with his tow truck. Police say that's when the Yukon accelerated, narrowly missing the tow truck, smashing through the front gate and speeding off. And this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Last Thursday, someone stole four cars off the lot. A day later, four juveniles were seen trying to take more cars, but didn't manage to get away with anything. A neighbor who lives in the area told me the incident comes as a shock. I mean, I would have never thought nobody would break into Sandy's knowing it's somebody there 24 hours a day. The trucks come and go all night long, and I'm wondering, like, how or why? Right. You know, really, that's, 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 that's shocking. Officials over at Sandy's Towing declined to comment. I'm live in Vandalia, Dana Smith, G News, working for you.